let's just dive right into the paragraph here. The question's always asking the same thing. We're gonna fill in the blank. Hopefully we see something in the paragraph that starts to give us a clue about what the blank is gonna be. A unique dialect or regional variety of Spanish is spoken in Puerto Rico. It contains many words borrowed from the language of the Tainos, the indigenous people of Puerto Rico. African languages also made important contributions to the Puerto Rican dialect. For example, the way certain vowel sounds are pronounced in it can be blank to how they are pronounced in Yoruba, a West African language. Well, here's a good example of a case where like, I don't have a very good kind of instinctive response to that blank. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what's going to go in there, but that's okay. Maybe it has something to do. It can be like, uh, like something about maybe like a mixture because we're talking about the different places things come from, but I don't really know. And that's okay. I'm not going to reread the passage to try to figure out what it's going to be. I also have the ability with these vocab questions to just guess and check. Put the word in and see if it makes sense, not just with the way it sounds, but with the way the entire passage would kind of support that word. So uh, the uh, the certain vowel sounds are pronounced in it can be traced to the, how they're pronounced in Yoruba, right? Because we're talking about things being borrowed from the Tainos. So there's some sort of origin there. And then something else is kind of originating from uh, the West African language. So that, that seems to make sense. Surrender, well, surrender means to kind of give up. So it can be, uh, the, for example, the way certain vowel sounds are pronounced in it can be surrendered to how they are pronounced in Yoruba. I literally cannot even twist that into some sort of sense. Like it does not make sense to say that. So hopefully you have enough of a sense of the English language that certain words will just be like, that doesn't make any sense. Don't force it in, get rid of it. Um, the way certain vowel sounds are pronounced in it can be announced to how they are pronounced. Well, that sounds weird just because announced, pronounced is weird, but also like they're not announcing them, they're not like saying them out loud in, in some sort of way and, and like, I guess, yeah, like proclaiming them to people, that, that doesn't make sense. Uh, and then D, the way certain vowel sounds are pronounced in it can be offered to how they are pronounced in Yoruba. A lot of it has to do with this word too. Offered to means like you kind of give someone something, but how, who are we giving anything to? We're talking about a, a language, so it doesn't make any sense. So traced here doesn't mean like trace, like you would trace something on a page, but it means the kind of a similar idea, right? That something kind of be linked or kind of mimicking something else. And so it, it is a good fit, but I don't know that I would have come up with that word myself just spontaneously, but that's okay. I've got four here. Let me test them out and see what sounds best. And usually it's just one that does.